10. Less All right, 10. people, uh, we are in uncharted territory right now. I've never watched that. This is new. I'm so happy. We still have 30 minutes of this to go. Let's go. And more less of us than, than five. More probably <laughs> less, around five. More yeah. like maybe seven. I've been chatting with five other kids. <laughs> more likely seven. <laughs> like, dude. For somebody who didn't know how many kids you spoke with, you have a pretty clear, you know, like, it's exactly five, more like seven. I, I don't know. How many of those girls besides Kiana did you send pictures to? Uh, probably all of them. All of them? <laughs> all of them, dude, you're dumb. He just admitted to chatting to five, seven, or ten kids. He's like, yeah, I sent the pictures of myself naked to all of them. All of them. You fucking idiot, the price cut. Holy shit, you're fucking stupid. Holy fuck, you're dumb. You're the dumbest guy I ever saw in my life. You know, Safran, I'm going to say this about you. You could probably be kiss, kick my ass at video games. Like I don't know which video game you play. Probably like a rape simulator. <laughs> Creep simulator. <laughs> like, you could probably kick my ass at video game, my ass at video game, but definitely not at a police interview. You know, you're fucking stupid. And I'm betting probably not in school neither because you're retarded as fuck. All of the five or seven? No way. I, I don't. It's really hard to say. I, I don't remember. I said but a lot. Me. I mean, enough yeah. that I think if you do something once or twice or three times, you remember it. But when it gets to be. A bunch of times, that's when you lose count. You don't. You, you, usually, it's more than your fingers. If you it's more than your fingers. <laughs> you fuck. Do something less than your fingers. You remember how many. And if you do it more than your. Well, fingers, I, was, I, was, I was like, okay, shut the fuck up. I don't care. Fingers, then you don't remember how many. So would it be safe to say that it's more than your fingers? What the fuck? It's like a kid. Like you go to kindergarten, you're like, okay, we're gonna count the apples. Do you have, are there more apples than your fingers? Like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I cannot count too many apples. I can't count with my finger. <laughs> I guess it fits the theme of Safras eating on kids, though. It, it would be safe to say so, yeah. <laughs> I'm making fun of that cop for being like childish, but it's working, you know. That fucker is confessing it. Well, it's five, probably around five. Is it more like seven? More. Can you count on your fingers? So it's more than ten. You know. And uh, surprise, what is? Um, what did you bring with you tonight in your vehicle for? Oops. Uh, Oops. Condoms. Oops. Condoms. <laughs> oh shit, fucker. Every minute of the interview gets worse and worse and worse. Like, like, oh shit. Yeah, I was coming for sex. Yeah, my sister. Oh no, she didn't bring any friends uh, to sleep over. Yeah, I sent pictures of myself naked. Yeah, I've been chatting with more kids. Yeah, I sent pictures of those kids. Yeah, I brought condoms. This is getting worse. This is not even digging your grave. It's building like a pyramid to bury yourself in. And now he's putting like the top and then he's going to go inside the pyramid to, 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 to spend eternity. Well, 15 months. That's it. That's it? No lube. No treat, gift, anything like that? No. And how long have you been interested in younger girls? <laughs> The most humiliating question someone can ask you, like, how long have you been interested in younger girls? Holy shit, I cringe when I watch his face, like, shit. You don't want anyone to ask you that. If if someone asks, let's say that you're in the street, you're a guy, and somebody comes to you, he's like, hey, and, hey you, uh, how long have you been into 13-year-old girl? I would like, excuse me, what the fuck's your problem? And it could go up to a fight. The, the guy is basically calling you a pedo. And now the cop is calling him a pedo. Like, how long you been in younger girls? Man, that is so fucking humiliating. Holy shit. <laughs> He's so fucking... I'm starting to feel bad for him. Like, his tactic is working. Like, that cop is so blatant with her question. I'm starting to feel bad for the guy. He's getting destroyed. He's getting wrecked. The strange thing is I'm actually interested in older 
girl, older women. <laughs> oh yeah, you are. The strange thing is, I'm usually interested in older girls. Of course you are, Safraz. It's obvious, you know. Anyone who watches this video will know that you're into older girls. You know. And the cop should say like, "Well, Safraz, I'm an older girl. Are you interested in me?" <laughs> but I, I guess. You just find it easier to talk to younger girls. No, I. I, I don't know what it is. I'm not really sure. You're a pedo, that's what it is. But it's... I mean, I, I should be very ashamed of myself, I know this. I should be, but I'm not. I don't know what it is. That, well, that in Guyana, me. we sold my youngest sister because we couldn't feed her, and she was about 30. Okay, that's disgusting. That's disgusting, but it's true. Let's go. To this. But this has been going on for a while with you? Um... Yeah. Off and on. <laughs> yeah. What does that mean? Well, that good question. It's, some, it's something that I struggle with. I, I, oh. I struggle with this, you know, in, in, internally. Oh. Well, obviously, I know... I, I Look don't. at his face. He's a man full of struggle. He struggled... If he struggled is if an, his entire life. You know? I struggle with this internally. You didn't struggle when you showed up at the house with condoms, did you, Safraz? What's known is wrong. I don't know if what's and wrong, officer. I, I want it. I, I, I never realized just how big of a problem this this could become or, or how big of a problem it is and I'm I'm studying psychology that's what I'm going to school for <laughs> I'm studying psychology what the fuck shut up what does this have to do with anything well if I study psychology I can understand my attraction to young girls better maybe it's something from my childhood <laughs> and so you understand compulsion Yes. And you understand, um, and you say you understand it's wrong, you understand that it's society saying it's wrong, that you have a compulsion. I, and, and when did this compulsion uh, come about? Um, I hate this fucking guy. I don't... <clears throat> Do you remember probably, the first time? Probably um, when I was about 20. About 20? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, obviously... I'm interested, as a human being, you know. What? Sex is something that I'm interested in, but. As a human being, sex is something that I'm interested in. What the fuck? Like, it's like saying, as a human being, a breathing is something I'm interested in. Like, what the fuck? I'm a human being, madam. Let me go. What the fuck? Interested in, but it wasn't until I was about in my early 20s that this started to become but surprise you're in your 20s you look 17 you know <laughs> uh, perhaps out of hand the talking but I, this is the first time I've ever met any anyone offline of course it is so all the other times it was just conversation yeah and pictures of course it was mostly conversation yeah Do you have any other questions for me? Uh, what? It's already over? There's still like 30 minutes left. I don't know if you'll be able to answer this. I, I, I know you're just doing, you're doing your job as a detective, but um, how, how will this... I work at... Publix? And I, I go to school and I have a family that's going to be devastated by something like this. <laughs> Would they have to know about Imagine this? Imagine this is your son and he gets arrested for this. And you, he has a younger sister. Has he molested her? I would, sh I would say chances are pretty huge that he did. He did molest his younger sister. So that's, that's devastating. When you learn that your older sibling molested, that your oldest child, your older child molested the younger child. And if I were to take a bet, I would say that Safraz can probably got molested too by his older brother, the one who's 27 right now. There's a good chance that Safraz Khan was molested by his older brother. It, it doesn't seem to make sense, but it happens a lot. And there's a good chance that he molested his younger sister. Not because of that, but because of the family. I don't know. He said he grew up in California, so maybe not. He said he was born in Guyana, so I don't know when he immigrated, but if he was like eight or nine in Guyana, his brother was uh, 10, 11. There's a good chance his older brother molested him. And there's a good chance he molested as well. No, the sister wouldn't be born. She would be like two.
But all I wanted to say is that his family is going to be devastated. You're always going to wonder if he molested his sister. And I would say he probably did. That's sick fuck. Well, certainly your job and your school would not know unless you told them. Because, of course, um, <laughs> they'll never know you got arrested. Nobody watches NBC, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a little-known channel that nobody watches. Your school will never know that you got arrested, and you can bet your name is not going to be in any newspaper. So nobody's going to see your name or what you were arrested for. Your school and your family are never. Oh, your, your school and your job are never going to go. You were even arrested. Like you're just going to disappear for 15 months. Then you're going to reappear, and nobody will ask any question. Like, oh, you're surprised. You disappear for a year. Oh yeah. What busy oh okay okay nobody's gonna know you got arrested Safraz. i swear or they found out by some other means we're not gonna by call. some other means like reading the newspaper your school or your place the cops are just telling him like bro you're gonna be in the newspaper like every newspaper tomorrow you're gonna be on tv like in front of millions of people tell them i think it's gonna be very difficult for you to keep it from your family first of all like you said uh, you don't Peter. have any money, you're going to rely on them for assistance in, in getting out of jail. Um, you uh, are going to have court uh, court hearings and, and other court procedures that you're going to have to go to. I mean, what, what kind of restrictions would this put on me? Like, that would be up to the courts. <laughs> restriction. First restriction, you're going to be in the cell. <laughs> that would be up to the courts. Well, how did you get here tonight? I drove. You drove whose oh, car? Oh, my, my I car. know where this is going. You have your own car? Well, it's on my dad's insurance. It's on your dad's insurance, but yeah. who owns it? Well, it's in his name, but I, I, it's my car. And Don't say car that. Yeah. Don't say that. Surprise! It's a bad. And then you have your 27-year-old brother has his own car. No, he doesn't drive. He doesn't. No. Why not? Because I don't know. he just never has license. Your 21-year-old brother, he have his own car? Yeah. And the 19-year-old, he yeah, has his own car? Yeah, all, but all the cars are on my dad's insurance. Right, but I'm just trying to establish, do you all share a car, no. or do you each no, have we, your own? We, we, you we... shut up! Dude, you're dumb! No, don't say that it's your car. No, it's my car. I'm the only one who uses it. I know where this is going. I have our own car. And do you know, does your dad have a car payment on all these cars? Oh, no, oh. they're all paid for. Yeah. All paid for? No! You're fucked, surprise! You're fucked! You're fucked! <laughs> beep, beep. Game over! Your car is GG! Your car is gone! Well, I'm, I would like to let you know that. Um, oh, what shit. kind of car do you have? It's a 92 Nissan Stanza. Oh, it's just a 92 Nissan. That's worthless. You know, we're in 2006, 2005. So it's an old car. It's worth like 500 bucks. We're not going to flip out about a 500 bucks car, you know. It's not like it's a, oh, it's a 2005 BMW. It's whole new. No, it's an old car. It's worth maybe 500 bucks. Okay. I'm sure the police, when he was answering those questions, like, is it your car? Yeah. Are you the only one who drives it? Yeah. Is it paid for? Yes. I'm sure the police was super excited. Like, oh, oh, I'm going to have a new car. And then he says, it's a 92 nice. And like, oh shit, that's a worthless car. Fuck you, Safraz. Fuck. Damn. Um, one thing you do need to do is when you're making your bond arrangements is to go ahead and make a phone call and try to get transportation back to Ocala. Um, because I, I, I wouldn't be given, my car wouldn't be given back. No. Um, I can't add to that, um, bam, definitely, bam, bam. but I can tell you that we are going to um, attempt to <laughs> uh, gain forfeiture on your visa. Oh. GG Safraskan Scar. GG. Part 6.